This series is presented by Verizon, who are honored to give more to those who give the most. Well, you young Americans. Dear young American. If I had advice to give to young Americans today, I would say. The future is going to be in your hands. Dear young Americans. Find some way to serve your community and your country. Dear young American. Make sure that you are physically and mentally strong. The chaos, the noise uh, in battle is uh, its unbelievable. And I'm an artilleryman, I'm hard to hear, and, and it was very noisy that day. If you could share one thing that stands out in your mind whenever you think of that day. Uh, the brutal heat. Probably the brutal heat. Well, I, I think the, the main thing that they should do is uh, know themselves. Set some goals, reach out to attain those goals, and never say it's too hard, never say I can't. And for God's sake, take the word failure out of your vocabulary. If you try something that doesn't work and you think you need some guidance, raise your hand because adults, one of the, the things we like to do most and that's to assist the youth of our country because they're the future leaders. If we can, uh, assist, get them on track, help them get over a hurdle, get over a challenge, then, uh, then that's, uh, that's our reward. I was talking to school kids today and I said, you know, uh, uh, war is horrifying, not glorifying. So I'm not here to talk about war. I, I want to let you know that those of us who served in the military serve for a purpose, and that is to give something back to this great country that we're fortunate enough to be born, live in, and grow up in. So uh, it's an opportunity to get back. I hope they never have to go to war. I mean, those of us who have experienced war are the ones that want war the least. So uh, you train, you train, you train, and, and you train some more. And, prepared to go in case uh, some of these bad people around the world uh, want to take us down. Well, we can't let them do that.